everybody today is the day after we shot the moose it is probably about five o'clock right now i did nothing but sleep all day with a screaming headache <laughs> i don't know what the hell happened i was even puking so i didn't bring any footage as you see the, the guys in camp were busy they got the they got the, the moose all hung up and dealt with uh, they did a lot of work today they went and got firewood um water all while I slept, so thank you to them, really appreciate it. It's hard to find good hunting buddies, and when you do, you keep them. I think I've said that before. Uh, so we're going to just hang in camp tonight. Tomorrow we're going to start hunting again tomorrow morning bright and early. I'll show you the horns here. I won't see them very good, but uh, oh yeah. Let me see him. There you go. He's actually a legal 10 point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and nine on that side. So he would have been able to shoot, we've been able to shoot him in the ten point or uh, three brow point only. But uh, realistically, how are you supposed to count points on a moving bull? I mean, unless you're twenty yards from him and he's not moving or sleeping or something. Other than that, it's just, there's no way we would have even known this guy had ten points until after we shot him. So it's kind of a crazy rule if you ask me and I don't know if I've told you guys but this could be our last year even coming up here due to the saying that there's no moose up here and the BC government agreeing with them and I don't know if they did their own study or not but I know from hunting up here I know from other people hunting up here that there is a lot of moose up here and I haven't seen a decline in moose it's just all political bullshit if you ask me I don't know what we're going to do after this. I don't know what they're going to do with the season. This will either be limited entry or it'll be closed altogether. I've been hunting here for almost 20 or for over 20 years in total. Been up here since 2007 every year. And uh, now they're going to pull this bull. It, I'm very, very, I don't even know how to say it, disappointed to say the least about what is happening in this province, just or in the world. I don't know. I'm not going to go on with that. Let's just keep hunting and have fun. Okay, everybody. We'll, uh, chat first thing in the morning because tonight today's just a camp day got a bunch of chores done around here and uh that'll be it for the day so uh take care everybody and we'll see you in the morning good night oh good morning everybody al here and rob it's just getting daylight we're in our spot i let a couple calls go already i don't know what day it is but uh it's getting to be a long series i hope i'm not losing your guys's interest here but uh uh that's what we do. <laughs> it's going to be a long, long series, but uh, hopefully you guys all like it. So uh, we're just sitting here waiting for daylight to come and then uh, hopefully we'll find a moose and take you on the adventure. Sorry, the other day I didn't get the GoPro on the video, just the kill shot. And I was lucky to even get the kill shot because we, we sat there for like an hour and a half waiting for that bull to show itself and he gave us such a little narrow window and that was the only time he went through um and that's all we had very fortunate to get that bull and it was a lot of work we didn't get back to camp till 2 30 at night and didn't get to bed till 5 a.m uh, we just went to bed and our alarm to get up went off uh, needless to say we just shut that off went to sleep so uh Looks like it's going to be a good day today. It rained most of the night last night. I don't know if you can see, but on top of that mountain, there's, there's snow on it. Um, the wind's not too bad. It's kind of picking up right now as we speak, but uh, hopefully we'll spot some moose here and uh, get a stock and another uh, harvest on film. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. Hopefully we got some good footage coming your way. Well, it's still the morning hunt here. It's probably a little after 9, 9.30 maybe. Uh, we've seen lots of caribou and a grizzly bear. But uh, no moose yet. It's quiet. Look who's coming here. What did you see, Rob? Nothing. Did you look at the grizzly bear? Uh, up there? Yeah. I was looking at him. Did he say hi? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go snuggle him. No. Get warm. <laughs> it's windy and cold. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing this morning, just besides a bunch of caribou and a grizzly bear, but... And seven shots by somebody way back there. Yeah. It almost sounded like two different guns. Yeah, it did, yeah. So that definitely, to me, sounds like they were long bombing. 
I just hope they missed. Or they got it. I hope yeah. they didn't wound it. Pushed it. Pushed, missed it and pushed it our way. Hopefully, yeah. That'd be a good, <laughs> good scenario. But uh, way up there, there's a bunch of caribou. Right up in there, there's a grizzly bear. And way up on top of there, there's a bunch more caribou. And uh, we shot the moose the other night. Rob shot the moose right up in there. Off that big knob up there. So we're just hanging here still doing the odd calling and uh, out of the wind, which is a nice, it's a nice spot here. And uh, hopefully the moose will still come out, still can. I've seen it before lots of times. So patience and persistence, words of the day. Talk soon. Hey everyone, so it's still the morning hunt here. And there's a grizzly bear we've been watching for most of the morning. I think right below him at his four o'clock. A few hundred yards is a caribou as well. Yep, it is. I'll show you the caribou now. Try to do this without moving. There's the caribou, I believe. Got a caribou right there. And then to the left and up a bit is the grizzly bear. Neither yet neither of them you probably know each other's there. So that's all we've seen this morning is uh grizzly bears and uh, well, a grizzly bear and caribou. This is how far away it is. A long ways. That's gonna make a good picture right there, isn't it? Okay, everybody, continue hunting. Hey, everyone. So Rob and I came with an idea, or I should say I did. He just, he's into it too, though. I'm following. No. The grizzly bear is right up there on the side of that mountain. We're going to go video him, see how close we can get, well, it's not going to be a goal to see how close we can get, but uh, we'll get close enough where it's safe and undetected because the wind's going that way, and uh, we just want to get him on video. Okay? Yeah. Show you guys a uh, crazy bear that um, are so short in BC that they had to close the season. They're extinct. Or, uh, exactly. Endangered. We'll call it a unicorn up there. Mr. Politician, if you watch. But uh, there's my pack. That's how I'm going to pack it. You see how that feels on my shoulder. MDT Hunt 26 chassis is folded. So uh, muzzle breaks or muzzle doesn't stick up too high and uh, should be good for packing. We're going to go right up to there and we should be able to see the bear from there and then we'll uh, plan our attack. Not really attack, but plan our stock accordingly. So we're not detected and uh, we can get some good footage for you guys. We're doing this for you. Hope you appreciate it. Stay tuned. Here's our bear, everyone. We are 700 meters from it. We're just going to be here for a bit. And then we're going to go another two meters closer to the next mile ahead of us and get some more video. The wind's totally in our favor. There's a caribou to our right. He's only about, I'd say, two or three hundred yards from the, the bear, and he's taking his eyes off him. And uh, we'll get closer. I'll show you the caribou right there, but um, below his sight, he can't see him. If I turn the camera, you can see him. So uh, let's get closer, guys. Here's how far away we are. Okay, everybody. From this ridge. be less than 400 meters from the bear. I'm going fast and hard. As you can tell by my breathing. I'll set up here and uh, get some video.
and there's a caribou right there as well. He's having a dump. Too many berries.
you guys on the GoPro can see this. Anyways. arms up in the air. He's not falling for it. Anyways, this is how far away he is from us right now. Looks far, but it's not really. And uh, it's going to be it for the animals this afternoon, I think. Okay, everyone, so Rob and I headed out to video a grizzly bear, which we did. We got within 344 meters of him. Uh, he didn't stick around long after that. He went over the mountainside. He didn't smell us or see us. He was just meandering on his own. And then we've seen a decent caribou bull. He decided to come and investigate us. He came within you know, 75 yards. Yeah. And uh, then he buggered off. Never did smell us. He came downwind from us, like, or I should say upwind. But he didn't seem to care. So here's our view from up here. Breathtaking. It's windy up here, but uh, that's where the caribou and the grizzly went. Hopefully, the caribou. I know the caribou knows the bear's there. So, um, on that note, we're probably going to head back for lunch, I think, or we might stay up here. I don't know. It's kind of windy and cold. So, uh, evening hunt is next. Unless something happens between now and then, I'll keep you guys posted.